Hello, this is the uh, first lecture uh, about MATLAB and it's an introduction and using MATLAB as a calculator. So in this lecture I shall talk about MATLAB in this module in Dynamics Modeling and Simulation. I'll cover the schedule and the topics that we're going to be covering, talk a little bit about the course notes and how they work, talk about what MATLAB is, um, talk about how you can get help and then we're going to do a demonstration of MATLAB going through some of the commands and the using MATLAB as a calculator. So MATLAB in this module pertains to the modeling and simulation part of the title. Um, it's focused around the first five weeks of delivery, okay, so the first five weeks of the module, and that's really to get you to learn the basics of MATLAB, how to drive it, and how we can use it in modeling and simulation of dynamics systems. The delivery is working like it like it, it's planned to work for for all the topics. We've got a pre-recorded lecture, of which this is one of them. We have an online lecture which follows the lecture, lecture, and that um, in that online lecturial uh, we'll get you to have a go with some of the some of the uh, commands and also do some examples, and then um, following those there'll be some face-to-face -face tutorials and they'll be in smaller groups, in one of the rooms where they've got computers that you can use. Now MATLAB as a topic is not directly assessed in this module, but it will be incorporated into the um, all elements of the assessment, so in both exams and in the um, set exercise that you have to do in Project Week 2, um, some of the questions and some of the exercises will require you to use MATLAB as part of finding the solution. In some cases you may even need to submit some code as part of the uh, uh, answer. So in terms of the schedule and topics, as I said, it's the first five weeks of term. So this week, the week commencing the 19th of October, we're looking at using MATLAB as a calculator. So instead of using a scientific calculator, what, how can we use MATLAB to do the, the same calculations? The week commencing the 26th of October, we'll be looking at vectors and matrices, which is sort of the fundamentals of how MATLAB deals with data. The 2nd of November, we're looking at script files and how do we visualize data. So how do we plot things in MATLAB? On the 9th of, of, of November, we've got functions and conditional statements. On the 16th of November, we're going to be looking at loops. So the course notes, um, they, as I said, these are like a, a it's an e-book available on Blackboard. Each chapter covers one or two topics. There's worksheets at the end of each chapter for you to do in the tutorials um, and at home. And there's a couple of conventions that we want to follow with the course notes, okay? Anything that's written in the typewriter font is a command you can enter into MATLAB. And there's various blocks of code, and I've obviously attached line numbers for the code, so we can refer to various sections of the code um, by just scrolling on the line. So that's how it's going to work. That's the introduction. What is MATLAB? Well, MATLAB is a piece of software um, and it's a package that's designed for numerical computing and programming. Okay, Now, it's used throughout the whole engineering industry um, extensively in a variety of different fields because it's so powerful, enabling you to do various different things. In fact, when I was um, when I'd finished my undergraduate degree a number of years ago, I actually went for a job interview where the um, in the interview they actually handed me a laptop and said, program a bouncing ball using MATLAB. And obviously the task was there for to to actually program how do I write a little program that would that would simulate a ball bouncing, and they gave me various parameters, and it's you know quite a challenging task. But that was that what they were doing is trying to assess how you thought about programming, and uh, and using MATLAB. And obviously the big advantage of using a computer to do some of these things it relieves you of repetitive tasks. There may be you know you may want to. Um, calculate various parameters of something moving through through space or through time and uh, and obviously the same calculation has to be done many times for it to give you the right answer and obviously um, yeah, you with one command in MATLAB you can actually get it to do multiple things um, saving you a lot of time and a lot of manual calculations. It's very flexible, MATLAB can do all sorts of different things and can lend itself to all sorts of different fields of engineering you may see in your future if it, um, it's used for looking at heat transfer. Um, there are many packages and add-ons. You, you know, we use it in uh, control systems engineering. 
um, also uh, for uh, image analysis. There's all sorts of different uh, areas where MATLAB um, can be used. Um, it's it's available on all the computers throughout the department in the computer labs and in the uh, and in the um, the uh, the teal rooms, the, the tech technology enhanced active learning rooms. Um, it's also available for you to download. Um, instructions for the, um, of how to do that are on Blackboard. But the student version is available. It's free. Um, the university has paid for it for you. And you can download that to your own computer or device. Um, there are actually online options as well. Um, you can actually use it within a web browser as well. And uh, even on tablets there's a version you can actually use as well. Now this course is actually self-contained in a sense, you know, everything that you need to know is within the course notes. But um, clearly there will be lots of questions you may want to ask. And so you can do that in the lectures and in the workshops or the tutorials and the lectorials. Um, you know, all the, all the members of staff involved in teaching this module um, are well versed in MATLAB and can answer many questions. Um, the other, obviously, the other option if you got need some help is to use the internet. MATLAB being so popular has a wealth of resources available online for you to actually access and uh, many many questions are asked so if you if you want to work out how to do something you can often just google for the answer and it'll come up in in you know some forum somewhere um and clearly MATLAB is created by a company called MathWorks and they've got a uh, full um you know tutorials and uh, on ramp courses and various other things available on their website as well as all the all the documentation to do with the with the with the software as well, so that's also well worth a look at if you're interested, and uh, yeah, we can show some links um, when we when we um, post this on Blackboard. So let's get started. I'm going to do a demonstration of MATLAB. <coughs> 